Welcome back to Idaho Voyager, making our way back from the Oregon coast this week. Uh, decided to make one extra stop before going home, spending the night at Grand Hot Springs RV Resort and uh, getting out about a half a mile walk right down the road to Hot Lake Springs to have a little dinner and some uh, beer. We'll have a quick little review of this pretty cool place coming up next. They have a movie theater? Thermal pub and eatery, retro movie theater, historic lodge rooms, hot springs soaking. Boy, this place looks pretty cool. Hot Lake Springs outside La Grande, Oregon. Really a cool historic building. Obviously, Hot Lake. We got quite a bit of rain today and there's the RV park we're staying. If you want to see our full review, click on the card in the top right hand corner of your screen. Yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. We're going to go in here, get a bite to eat, have a brew at the pubbery brewery. We were soaking at the hot springs at the RV park. There's hot tubs there but there's obviously quite a few here too. So let's go check this out. Living in Boise, we're not that far from La Grande, Oregon. It's only about a three hour drive and we were really surprised to never have heard of this place. Hot Lake Hotel is really historic. Originally built in 1864, the hotel received its namesake from the Thermal Springs Lakes on the property and was operated as a luxury resort and sanatorium during the Gilded Age at the turn of the 20th century. It is a time capsule of sorts. The vibe in this hotel is equal parts white star lines, think Titanic interior design, and the Overlook Hotel from The Shining movie. Speaking of which, this hotel is reputed to be haunted. There is a ton of info on the internet regarding this phenomenon. Also, there's this. It is the first known commercial building in the world to utilize geothermal energy as its primary heat source. That's pretty cool. It was restored in the early 2000s and today operates as a hot springs resort, pub, and theater. You heard that right. There is a darling little movie theater that plays a classic on most nights. On this evening, they were showing The Princess Bride. So big points for that choice. Now it is right off for Interstate 84. So if you're passing through, this would be a, a really nice little side trip, very close to the interstate, easy access. Uh, so there's that if you're ever passing through this part of the country. Overall, this is a real gem that we just stumbled onto. Historic, charming, haunted, and convenient three hours from Boise. Really, what more could you want? Well, that'll do it for now. A great way to put a little bow on top of our Oregon Coast week-long getaway. Some of these most impromptu spots are the most memorable. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us here on Idaho Voyager. And if you like the content, make sure to subscribe, nudge that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. And we'll see you next time right here on Idaho Voyager.